All right. So after that tragic death. The management of Witchy World Theme Park regrets to inform you that no food can be taken off the premises, so there. Right, okay. Well, we're gonna deal with Mrs. Boggy's children probably in a later part, except for one. But... Cuz, yeah. But, um... Okay. So... We are now going to go to the other parts of Witchy World. Brilliant. Just brilliant there. Why didn't I take the warp? I don't know. Why didn't you take the warp? I don't know. Why are you talking to me? Alright. Um. Okay. So, over here you got these two little areas that you don't need to pay to get inside of. And we're gonna go into them and see what sort of magical wonders await us within their depths. This part maybe might be kind of long. I wanted to fit all of Witchy World in here if I could. Ah, this place. These teeth do actually hurt you if you touch them. So don't hurt, don't touch them and you won't die like I did. And the ghosts up there are just the lights. They aren't like the ghosts in Mad Monster Mansion and Banjo Kazooie. They will not hurt you, to my knowledge. So there. But, um. Yeah, and over here, I think we have a Cheeto page. No? Come on, I know there's a Cheeto page somewhere. They do look similar to them. Come on, I know there's one in here. There was, like... A little area off to the... Ow! Okay, so that's what I mean. Teeth... Ah! Teeth hurt. Die, cause, banjo. Hurt bad. Wait a minute, what is this? Warning, the management accepts no responsibility for soiled underwear as a result of viewing the Cave of Horrors exhibits. Okay. Well, what's in here, then? Let's see, what do we got? <gasps> hey guys, am I glad to see some familiar faces? Kobe, what are you doing in there? Well, as you may remember, I was on my way to the lava world, but I got captured. But now that, you, now that you're here, I'll soon be out. We'll see about that, beardy. You have any money? No? Then get used to that cage, hump boy. Ooh, there's no way to treat an old friend. But you hated us. Oh well. I assume I better help you. Because I'm mostly controlling Banjo right now. What? I thought you could open the doors by blowing them down. Oh, I think you have to blow it into the keyhole. Yep, you have to be specific with it. And yellow? No! Green! One of five greens. Alright, go be go nuts. Great, on my way to the lava world again at last. Woohoo! Woohoo! Go, go be go. Huh. Okay, so we saved Gobi. End of part. And in there. Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere until the chuffing train is in Witchy World Station. Okay. That must mean there's train stations in other worlds. What a concept. Can we ride these train stations? Train sta... Kid, shut up. I thought that snot-nosed little kid was in... No. Okay. We'll find him. <laughs> God, I sound like Al. <sighs> Wait. So there's literally nothing over there? That seems like the biggest waste of space. That doesn't light up much. Ow.
Okay, yeah, I really don't think there's anything here, I guess. Nope. Nothing in here. Time to go to the other side. Ugh. So we freed Gobi, found a Triceratops, which I think, since this game came out, has been discovered to not have actually existed. But, um, not sure. I don't remember, I just remember hearing that somewhere, and I was going, Wow, the Triceratops didn't exist? Oh no! My life has changed forever, just like that time Pluto became not a planet, but just another rock. Except it wasn't just a rock, it was a dwarf planet, but that made a lot of people angry for whatever reason. Burn! I think we can blow that open. No. We cannot. Okay. So this looks like a train station of some kind, because there's a train marker and a train loading thingy and a train... No, wait, there is no train. Why is there no train? Well, we have to fix that. By finding ein train... I don't remember the word. Die, please. Good thing I didn't get that. Oh, crap! Uh, those damn wall things are going to be the end of me. You hear me? The end! Die. Glop, 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 glop. Okay, up we go. And drain switch. What does that do? That opens the doors! Okay. Well, that's good. So, now... Die, please. We can go over here and... Chuffy is loading ore in Gulder Gulch Mine. Would you like Chuffy to pick you up? Yes, and here's another ridiculously cool feature of the game and why I like Chuffy so much. Take a drink of water while this cutscene is going on, because it's just Chuffy chuffing. Time to leave! Okay. I'm jumping during the cutscene. I wish I could see myself. I, I moved during the cutscene. What? What? That's weird. Also, I realized that there's another thing I have to do here. So we... There are three jiggies. Okay, um, this part might be a little long. Because I wanted to fit all the um, the rest of Witchy World in this one part, <laughs> so we can cut Witchy World down to three parts. But now I have to take Banjo into the Inferno. Ow, the teeth hurt. What is it with teeth hurting? You wouldn't just get hurt by the tooth if you walked into it. Maybe if you like impale yourself on it. But not if you just, like, walk into it. That just don't make any sense, Rare. Uh... Okay. So what we're looking for is... Somebody used to be on that switch. Well, wait, there they are. Split up heads! Okay, so Banjo needs to go over here. And you can use the black pack to, uh actually give yourself some air, which is good. Air time! That'll make that appear. And you can actually, you know, now be Kazooie. And run! Ow! Oh god! This ain't gonna go well. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, well, Kazooie only has three health, 
and you start out with two. This will put us right here. So I have to get Banjo again. Uh, I want to make this part cover a lot of stuff. Uh, well, you shouldn't have made it take like 30 minutes, 10 minutes first. Because if it's too long, you know... Wait, I have full health now. Okay. I don't even know what the point of the shoes is. I mean, I guess they give Kazooie extra air. But, you know, the switch isn't going anywhere of Banjo crap. Okay, let's get this. Oh god, damn it. Uh, hug the wall, hug the wall, hug it. Uh, hug it. Okay. Now I got the jiggy. And Kazooie can actually do this forever. So it's pretty nice. And... I'm pretty sure that's everything. Kazooie can't fight yet? Ah! Uh, um... Okay. Good. And I think that's everything. I can't seem to find the person I came to look for, but, oh well, such is the way. Okay. Now let's go over here and Space Zone. And 12 minutes, we got, we got plenty of time, I think. I'm gonna try and do all of this in under 30 minutes. So we did the star. Only thing we haven't done... Crap! You know, I'm actually not sad to see that this time. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, I think there's something else. Okay. Now we can go in here! Yay! And we wouldn't have been able to do this if we didn't have the van as well, so thank you, van. Ow. Now these weird looking things. Not that. That car is, like... Ugh. What is... It's a Martian. That's it. It's wearing a space helmet. Let's see you collect 60 points worth of Twinklies in 45 seconds. Whack the bear! Right, so we just have to, um... Get away from me, dog. It's actually kind of, uh... I have to collect 60 points worth? What? Hold on a minute. You crazy, Grunty. Because it gets more irritating. You get like 60 points worth of Twinkies in 45 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that we know that this isn't a joke... You want to collect mostly the higher point ones. Whenever available, go for the higher point ones. That. It's just like life. Go for the rich people. No, not really. And 60. Ha ha! Take that, Totem Doom. I got 70 that time. Wow. Hmm, not bad. You've beaten game one with 71 points. Now try my second challenge. Ugh. <sighs> And there's a cutscene for door 2 opening. So let's go! 
And the game is going to get a little harder because, if you hadn't already guessed, you can hear two laughs. Bastards. Er, wh which one is the gas pedal? Let's see you collect 50 points worth of Twinklies in 45 seconds while competing against two people. Crap. Ow. Please leave me alone. Look, I don't know what you got against me, but I'm just a bear. I'm just a bear and love is a nightmare. Come on. Bam, bam. Yeah, 50. Oh, take that, Grunty. Hey, what's this? You've beaten game two with 52 points, but there's still my third challenge. Ugh. Now for challenge three. Not real excited about this. Three versus one. I would say that's not fair, but... Grunty doesn't like playing fair. You're in for a real remin this time, pal. Um... What kind of game is this? Let's see you collect 40 points worth of Twinklies in 45 seconds. Okay, so less than a Twinkly per second. Crap! Ah, then they pinned me against the wall and just had their way. What?! He just picked up a Twinkly! What?! And you can see that this is why this one sucks. Because not only are there three of them, I think they're smarter. Ow. God damn it. Just let me have you bastards. Give me my twinklies. I got 40. Yes! Do whatever you want. No! You've beaten game three with 42 points. I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of prize after taking such a pounding. That's right, hand it over, you bony hag. Whew. Ugh. Girl, I hate that game. I was actually dreading that more than the, um, ordnance storage in the mine with the dynamite. Because that one just sucks. Huh. <sighs> Okay. And up here we should have... a friend! Yes, the entirety of the Yellow family. The Yellow Jinjo family is complete! They'd like you to have this. I mean, um, they'd like you to have this. But, um, that was terrible. I'm so sorry. Um. Okay. All right, we're at 18 minutes. We are totals, please. Drum roll, please. Eight chickies. The other Cheeto page is with Madame Grunty. And I will deal with that when I come back. And the second to last jiggy is in the tent. You mean this tent we've been building up to this whole time? Yeah, that's the one. Whoa! Hey, Kaga! Let me see your tickets, buddy. Tickets? What do you need them for? Four tickets are required to enter Kaga's big top. No tickets, no entry. But we have four tickets. Pass them over then, pal. Cheers, I better let you in. You're just in time. The show's about to begin. Hope they've got acrobats and a human cannonball. They have humans in this world? I think our seat will be. I can't see any, any seats. Perhaps we're supposed to sit on this big lump on the floor over here. Doesn't look very comfy. Oh, fuck. Boss music. 
What is that? It's Barty! Oh, hi there, boys and girls! Oh dear, not more intruders! Well, I'll show you who's boss. See how big and strong Mr. Patch is? Bah, you're not all that big, really. That Klungo freak nearly at the start was probably bigger than you. Oh yeah? Well, how about this, then? Uh, strange, wobbly, inflatable thing. What the hell is that between his legs? I suppose you think you're clever, don't you? Well, one doesn't like to blow well, one's own trumpet. Um, battle coming on. If you insist. Okay, so what we're supposed to do is shoot grenade eggs at his patches. You found a weak spot. Looks like I might need some help here. I love Mr. Patch's music. So now we get a first true test of what airborne flight is like. Or airborne, airborne flight. Okay, so this can actually. I've had this be challenging before. Ah. Now, how did you miss that? Because the airborne flight is not... Stop saying that! The airborne air egg firing is not exactly the most reliable thing ever. Okay. As you can see... Hey, I hit one! I hit the one on his ass! Awesome! Awesome! Ah! Get away from the gloves! Good thing at least, like, hitting him is a good way... Like, like running into him seems to be a good way to, like, recenter yourself. If you need to, like, do stuff. Whoa! Awesome! Now for the part I don't want to do. You have to go around his face, and he's gonna shoot his balls at you! Crap! Okay. Balls! Alright. Patch, turn around. I command you. I shall make her I command you. Ah. Let's put some distance between he and I. And then... You, giant wobbly inflatable douche. Ow, okay. Just one. No, I need to hit the one right there. Yes! Take that, you wobbly inflatable whatever. And whatever is between your legs. Ugh. Oh, looks like trouble, the kids. <laughs> and then Patch was no more. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yes! So I love that music for that fight. Dun, 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 dun. It's just the Witchy World music, but it's faster. And it, this music does really well when it's fast. This here's witchy world, you see. It is run by Grunty. It has lots of fun and frights to occupy your children. Wait, if you do not pay or stay, 
You will should be quite sorry. You may lucky ones, you may even see Mr. Patch's Pete. No, we're not doing that. I just felt like singing because I was thinking that you could make lyrics out of the out of the Witchy World song. I, I, I was being random about that. I don't know. What am I talking about? Let's go in Mrs. Madam Grunty's tent before we close off this part. See what she tells us. Ah, welcome. I will now choose your fate. You win a beating. I like this one. Wow. Shite. You know what? I'm going to give it one more try because that just sucked. Welcome. I will now choose your fate. Yep. You know what? <laughs> I don't like winning beatings. Let's... God. I'm going to end the part here. In the next part, we will do stuff towards the next world. Because, yeah. See, we're pretty much done here. See you guys then.